Hi everybody. How you doing? USA. USA. So, um, exciting stuff today. Oh my God, did you see Scotland's even, even, he, this guy, Donald Trump, really thinks he's so special. Everybody loves him, you know, in the UK. I don't know if you saw that they did a, um, a poll and he came out, I think 12% of the country liked him and the rest didn't like him. So, um, I'm excited. I don't know why. I can feel it. I can feel it, you guys. Please know. I feel it. I know beyond a reasonable doubt that what you call is going to hit the fans. Okay? Now listen. MSNBC, CNN, all you people that are saying, why doesn't he tell Putin he can't meet with him due to this terrible thing that he's doing? Hello. The writing is on the wall. The writing is on the wall, ladies and gentlemen. And by the way, thank you for all your support. You guys are just so... I'm just like overwhelmed. Anyway, so the writing is on the wall. Of course he's not going to um, be like, oh my God, we got to make sure that our voting system isn't uh, re hurt like this again. We, we've got to get in there and see what we can do to prevent. Hell no, he was in on it. As you know, I think, what was the vote? 77,000 that he was able to sway the Electoral College in three different states. Now they're going to find out that Russia, he couldn't have been president if it wasn't for Russia. He knows what side his toast is buttered on. And now they're saying, um, I guess they're focusing in on Rosenstein saying no Americans involved. Trust me. Hello. Hey, if Trump can lie through his teeth, maybe Rosenstein needs to just give him a little something, something. Made him feel a little easier. But let me tell you something. This particular indictments against the 12 Russians, there's a wonderful person that writes me on my, uh, via my email. And he let me know, and it's very true, that probably Mueller reported these warrants to Interpol, which means any of these guys go outside of whoever will cover them, like Russia, they can be arrested. They can be taken in. And I do believe they will get somebody. I do believe that. I see it. Of course, you hope that whoever they get gets the hell out of there because Putin will have them killed. So, okay, so I'm so excited. You guys, hello? Didn't I tell you just relax? Okay, so, but now they're saying, you know, the, Jim Jordan, who, by the way, is going down. I think I read him yesterday, correct? Jim Jordan's going down. Jim Jordan's going down. Um, Cruz is not going to be there. Let me tell you, they'll all be marching. Marching. Um, okay, so, but I just want to know, since they... They're petitioning effectively on Monday that uh, Rosenstein gets uh, uh, evicted or whatever they call it. He's laughing at them. I just saw him laughing at them. Oh, my God. I can't wait. I can't wait. And then McConnell knew this whole time, and he, re he refused to let the Democrats let the world know that the Russians were involved in the voting fraud that was going on. He's the one that cut it out. He's the one that stopped them from getting our SCOTUS pick. Oh, he will pay, trust me. Might not be in this life, but he will pay. Okay, so, hold on, let me ask. Will they be able to get impeached? Will they be able to get Rosenstein impeached? Yes or no, just give it to me. Remember, I thought I saw them really trying to, in fact, it's going to work out in our favor. Thank you, whoever's talking to me. Some souls are going to have to be saved. I just saw almost angelic forms coming in, kind of reminding us not to judge too harshly because, it's you know, th their day will come, so don't worry about it. So what can I say? Rosenstein. 
that Jim Jordan is doing an impeachment, will he succeed? Somebody just told me they they may be in control, but they're kind of losing it. Like they're not, the ones that are really fighting are the ones that know they're in trouble. They're the ones singing out the loudest. <laughs> Newlands is going to be in big trouble, you guys. Oh, oh, prison's going to love him. Babyface Noons. Oh, hell yeah. Cruz, too. He's not going to jail, though, I don't think. But Cruz is not going to win again. Okay, so tell me about Rosenstein. I can st still see Rosenstein. It's just like he'll be glad when this is all over. Here, here's them coming out with their little ideas. They want it to go swiftly. They want it to happen swiftly. They're causing stress to the nation. The power of the kingdom shall win. God wins. This is, this is something beyond. I don't see Rosenstein going. It does not show any cards of him packing his shit and going. I see strength. I see the sun. I see negotiations, though. It's not like it's, it's almost something else is going to happen, you guys. Oh, my God. I can feel it. Something else is going to happen. Some, okay, I got to just ask. I'm sorry, you guys. And you guys all wrote me in the tablet that I wrote everything that I was supposed to talk about. I left it at my house. But I was playing with my puppies this morning. They needed their mama's love before she had to leave. Oh, you guys, what are we going to do after this? What are we going to do when this is all over? Well, I'll tell you what, we're going to make sure that we put things in place so we never have to go through this again. Presidents will have to show their tax, tax records. Presidents will have to show that they are not having outside interests. Because this guy made fat. And you know what? Guess what? The Scotland golf course that he's out at right now is losing money hand over foot. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mr. President. Whoa, Jesus Christ, you got any hookers around here? He thinks he's the greatest president ever. His numbers are better than Abraham Lincoln, you guys. How dare he compare himself to someone? Now that was the Republican Party. And McConnell has ruined the Republican Party, I will tell you right now. He has given them an open door to be corrupt. It'll take a long time, and there's good Republicans. I was thinking about becoming Republican before all this because I was a little, you know, tired of the Democrats with the same thing, different day. Oh, the Democrats are going to change it around too. They're not going to say... They're not going to say, uh, oh... Well, because I see negotiations, I see people talking that are running for office. And let me tell you the yes part. The yes part is yes, we're going to uh, stop over illegal immigration. What we're going to do is come up with a better plan for people to be able to come into this country, not just with fear of where they're at, but with working and we're just, they're going to make it where it's easier to get what you need to get in here. But everybody's accounted for. No more illegal immigration. That's the one thing Trump started, but, you know, racist pig. And then um, what else are they going to do? They're going to definitely, Democrats are definitely going to make sure there's, and also I think we're going to go into universal health care, you guys. I think the nation is ready for it. We're going to go into universal health care. And this morning when I was getting ready to come in here, I want you to know I saw it again. I saw Justice Roberts and Justice Tom Thomas. When the new Democrat president comes in, as well as Ruth, uh, I saw them maybe getting sick or not being able to stay. I saw them leaving. I, I, I'm feeling one of them gets sick. It's not Ginsburg. I feel one of them gets sick and one of them actually dies while he's in office. Very unexpectedly. Somebody's terminal and the other person is really, just feels like they go. Okay, so. So what's the news? Tell me, tell me. What's the buzz? Tell me what's happening. What's the buzz? Tell me what's happening. Thank you, Jesus.
Ooh, 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 ooh. The fruits of the party is coming to bear. There's a lot of money situations that are gonna come up with this, you guys. A lot of money that... Hello, hello. Now remember the economy, the, 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 the uh, stock market stuff is gonna take a hit. Because when everybody has to stand there with their pants down and show the contraband up their ass, it's gonna get ugly, really ugly. And it's just not the anal vision. So indictments are coming, you guys. Indictments are coming. <laughs> How long are my cards talking to me or what? Judgment. My friend Daniel, who does my YouTube stuff, he was like, Linda, I had a total vision, because he doesn't get visions very often. But he said, Linda, I had a total vision of Trump being shown out the door, out the back door of the White House. I said, your words, God's mouth. Knight of swords, it's a battle, you guys. Oh my God, listen, my cards can sometimes be wrong. Sometimes my interpretation of the cards can be wrong. But psychically, spiritually, and remember I had that dream of Trump being in a glass coffin. And, and using my dreams are like, you can take it to the bank. So, and it's all so, stuff they did to themselves. They did this to themselves. Now, you know, MSNBC, CNN, and all those guys, they're, they're spinning this and spinning this. They need to get off the, well, why won't he, why is he still meeting with Putin? The writing's on the wall, you guys. I even told Trump when he texted, did his Twitter today, I said, you know, enjoy yourself. You just relax, enjoy yourself. We all know why you're not going to, you know, turn on Putin. It's because he helped you. You're bought and paid for. So just relax because justice is coming. Justice is coming, my friend. Now, as far as Trump is concerned, I'm not... I see a lot of lawsuits. But I think what's going to happen... It might even be the Democrats coming in November, you guys. But I see, I see hits after hits. Mueller's laying it all out. Even these 12 people, this was the beginning. So I don't know if Rosenstein said no Americans are involved. Or maybe that's in the paperwork. But trust me, it, they know who's involved. They know Americans are involved. So that's coming up next. It, I wouldn't doubt if it's next week. That's how strong it is. It's right on top of us. But can I ask something, you guys? Okay. I'm so sorry. I just got to... I'm so excited. I just got to see. Why haven't they hit Cohen yet? I heard that he hasn't been charged with anything. Are they negotiating with him now? Oh, Manafort's upset too. <laughs> yeah, see, Manafort was kind of hoping that Trump would give him a, you know, a pardon. And then when which call starts hitting the fans, they are not going to care. They're going to throw away the key with Manafort. He may sing, but he's singing too late. You know what I'm saying? He's a day late and a dollar short. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so excited, but I have such a strong, like, yes. Because when those things happen with Trump, like he got to, uh, when Kennedy stepped down, which is a bunch of crap, we're going to find out about that. When Kennedy stepped down and when something else happened and he kind of had a good week. Oh, the, the courts said that he could, in fact, use a Muslim ban. That's another story. But anyway, um, he, um, I said, yeah, I even psychically said, yeah, enjoy. Enjoy. Because shit's about ready to hit the fans. So why isn't Cohen... <laughs> Cohen knows his shit. I'm telling you, Cohen knows. It's bad. But you know what? Let me tell you something. Even all the... It's about the Russian thing. It's not about women. Even though there's a lot of stuff on women. I'm going to tell you something. Those Christian people that love him so much, even if this woman had an abortion, they wouldn't care. I'm telling you guys, they would not care. That's their savior. Trump is their savior because he's a white racist. Okay. 
What happened with Cohen? Why are we still sitting here? What happened with Cohen? Cohen will actually be relieved. Um, people are in joy. People are like, yes! So they're telling me yes. Yes, the law will come in. Yes, he's handing over the information. He's negotiating right now, okay? They're talking to him, but they're hush-hush. They're telling him to keep his mouth shut. They want, you know, you know how, <laughs> how the news media goes, oh, 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 they're talking, you know. They don't want that. They're actually talking to him now. So negotiations are taking place. I think he may go to jail, even if for a little bit. Something's going on, and negotiations take place, and he goes for the better cause, you guys. He ends up helping the United States. So, and there's this woman here that I think it's his wife, so he might be doing it for her. Every time I look up and see my big old ass head, I'm like, whoa, oh, it's just me. I got a big ass head, you guys. My head's the same size as Oprah's. You would think I had brains though, unlike Oprah. I do I don't have those kind of brains. Ever since I had chemo, I have that short term memory thing. So sometimes I, I'm a loss for words. I used to be more with it back in the day. But ever since I went through breast cancer, my ability to tap into universal consciousness is a little bit more powerful. So, um, and thank you guys for all the a lot of people are writing me what they've read or what they picked up. You have to understand that I'm getting a lot of information. And I thank you guys for offering to read for me. Um, if I don't get right back to you, it's because I'm overwhelmed. I can barely take care of myself right now. It's busy. Oh, I left that phone number for people to call Angel Heart if they wanted a phone reading. The phones were blowing up yesterday. Blowing up. Carol, the, the one who runs the store, is looking at me like... Damn you, Linda. But, you know, whatever. She makes a chunk. But it got full. And I'm, and I'm glad. Because I kind of... We had to do that. It's just overwhelming, the amount of requests for readings. So, um, and the other thing, I'm going to have to get stricter on having my days off, being my days off. Right now, I only have part of Sunday and Monday and Tuesday. And I keep getting requests, you know, I can't, could you please, please, please. And, you know, I always have, I feel bad. And I hope you don't take it as an insult, but I, I, I'm going to have to stop because I have to have days off. Sometimes I start feeling it, you know, like I'm, I might be doing a little too many readings. My only time sometimes to be able to sit down and talk to you guys is right before I work all day because I'm coming in here and then I have clients all day. But I do have fun with people. We all, and I love people coming in saying, girl, everything you said down to the wire came true. I love it. I love it. And it's not me, as you know. It's them, the other side. So I'm sure everybody has a lot of other questions, and I'm sure I totally forgot because I forgot my notebook. Um, maybe I should have gone live so you could have said. Let's see. We, we looked at Cohen. We know that's coming. Oh, a lot of people ask about Pence. Did I ever read on Pence? Let's just look at Pence. What's going to happen to Pence in all this? God, he's so creepy. At least Trump is like a buffoon, you know? Kind of, you kind of even feel sorry for him. He's that show off kid on the playground. Pence is the creepy one hiding in the men's bathroom. <laughs> what can you tell me about Pence? What can you tell me about Pence? What can you tell me about Pence? Okay, let's check it out. Pence has been waiting for Trump to get kicked out. I heard something, and this may be true. They were even thinking, because you know Paul Ryan said, oh, how could I look at my daughter in the eye if I was for somebody like Donald Trump? They may have wanted Pence. They were sure to want Pence in there. Maybe they were thinking of getting rid of Donald Trump and, and then putting Pence in. But Pence, I think people love Donald Trump more than they love Pence. Um, 
What's gonna happen to Pence? What's gonna happen to me? Ooh. Evil, he's evil. He's got deep, ugly thoughts. He will lose a lot of money. I don't know if he, he's probably hustling money now or he's trying to get money. But when all this stuff starts falling over the cliff, he's part of it. I see him negotiating and desperately trying to make things okay, but he's powerless. So let's say something happens and they do make him president, he's powerless. Because let me tell you, there's no bull. There's going to be a blue wave, okay? So I see the Democrats just going down. <laughs> Neuter him! <laughs> now Democrats, you have to be kinder. Okay, so Pence is not good. He's not like standing in off. He's not a position of power. He's bull, okay? Now, just out of curiosity, when I was driving in here, I thought, well, I still can't see who the next president is. And there was a guy, an Australian medium, um, that talks with uh, Lena, and he's really nice. Uh, he, I'm going out to see him. He's coming here. And um, why did I just go blank? Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. I know his last name is Johnson. He's, he's a really nice guy. So, uh, anyway, I'm gonna, supposed to go out. We'll probably be doing a video. I think he said, um, and I really like this guy, Adam Schiff. Let's just ask if it's Adam. Remember, I kept picking somebody like Eric Solwell or, let's just look if it's Adam. I keep wanting to say Don Johnson, but that's the actor. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? Did Adam Schiff gonna win? As president of the United States. On the fence as far as running or maybe coming up with the money. No, I'm not showing him winning. Uh Maybe he's not powerful enough. Um, they want somebody really coming in, like, because Adam's really nice, you know, kind of soft. This, it's not him, according to me. Let's just show me one last time. Show me again, because I got to go. But who is going to win for president of the United States? Let me know if it's Democrat. I see a woman too, so I don't know. I see a woman. And I think I thought that was Camilla. I don't know if she runs for press or if she's vice press. Who's gonna win? But they can't come in being too far left, I'm telling you right now. Who's gonna be? Who's gonna win as president? Answer the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Please help me out. Somebody's going to cause that spark. Someone that are going, people are going, ooh. Who's going to win? Someone with a good message. Um, and someone who's very powerful. So remember I told you I thought he was a fair-haired guy? Remember I told you guys that? And he's an emperor. He, he comes in. So he might have experience already. He's just not some brand new guy coming in. It's not Kennedy. Um, he has a way of looking at the world way differently. There's sort of a healing effect with him. And he's able to work both sides. So he's coming in, and when he comes in, it's swift. So even if Adam Schiff is signing up, um, it's, it's like he knows he even steps aside because he's saying, you go ahead. Because I don't know. There's something about this guy. He'll pe be like the Obama energy where people are just donating five bucks a piece, you know. 
So it's good. Yay! I'm so happy, you guys, and you have a wonderful week coming up. Um, I think that's it right now. Okay? Ciao. Take care.